now we come to a new type of surgery in glaucoma that we call as glaucoma drainage devices so this is an upcoming topic and for aims exam and for the pgi it is very important to know at least basics of glaucoma drainage devices so can you see a tube here so this is a tube and this is the valve okay so the aqueous flows through this tube into this valve and through the subconjunctival space so we are making an alternate pathway normally what i told you that the aqueous humor passes through the uh, schlem's canal to the aqueous veins to the episcleral veins so here we are making an alternative route where the aqueous is drained through this tube into the subconjunctival space so what you have to remember is that what are the indications of glaucoma drainage devices the indications the most important indication is failed trabeculectomy surgeries so what happens is that when we do a trabeculectomy uh, normally the success rate of trabeculectomy is 50% in 5 years so after 5 years there is lot of fibrosis in the space and the amount of filtration that takes place through trabeculectomy decreases so first indication is failed trabeculectomy second is neovascular glaucoma as i told you in ocular ischemic syndrome in central retinous venous occlusion there is lot of neovascularization that takes place in the iris and it also takes place in the angle structures so when we do a trabeculectomy surgery there is a lot of inflammation and due to fibrosis that trabeculectomy fails so neovascular glaucoma is another indication then we have uveitic glaucomas and complicated glaucoma cases like post pk or traumatic glaucoma or in cases where there is an aniridia so these are some cases where conventional surgeries fail and we have to put a tube so this is called glaucoma drainage devices if we classify into two broad parts there can be one non valve tubes and can be valve tubes so you just have to remember the name the non valved are molteno the most important bare valve and sockets out of these the most important is bare valve in the valve tubes you have to remember the ahmed glaucoma valve okay so this you have to remember at least okay the difference is that in valve tubes lets the pressure goes down to 8 or 10 this flow itself stops but in non valve tubes there is no restriction of flow another important thing that is asked in the aims exam was that sometimes instead of tubes we use shunts so these shunts are almost like tubes but the thing is they are made up of metals like stainless steel so they also are used in the uh, surgery and another stent that you have to remember is cypass and i stent the new upcoming stent is a zen implant so these are some names that you have to remember more important for the aims point of view and they can ask this question also which is a very recent question that why cypass shunt is not put because it decreases the endothelial cells okay so it was now removed from the market so these are some important new points that you have to remember regarding the glaucoma drainage devices